Hello everybody! Today it's time for a tag. I don't do these very frequently, but sometimes I just come across one where I think the topic or the questions is really interesting. So today it is one of those. It is the Buddy Read tag. I wasn't tagged to do this as far as I am aware. Um, the original creator is Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse, and I will link his video down below. So let's get into all these questions about buddy reading. Question number one is accountability. Do you like buddy reads? I do. I really, really do. I have always thought that buddy reads are one of the best ways to get to know another person in the book community. Um, there's really nothing better than just sort of a private conversation about something you are both reading at the same time. And I think because it is so often a private one-on-one -on -one experience, it's a great time to get to know people and share a bit more about yourself in that more private, safe environment. And for me, it's been one of the best ways that I've gotten to know and kind of feel whether I click with other people in the booktube community. It's been really awesome. Question number two is sharing. Is there an ideal sized group for buddy reads? <laughs> I think so. I have a pretty strong personal opinion on the size of buddy reads. I strongly differentiate between like one-on-one -on -one buddy reads, small book club groups, and then large group reads. For me, a buddy read is me and like one other person, maybe two other people if I know everybody really well. Maybe I'm just like really restrictive about the definition of a buddy read, but I like it just to be me and one or two other people. And part of that is probably because I've actually had some not so great experiences with buddy reads that have drastically ballooned from like two people to a dozen because everyone piles in and wants to read a book at the same time. And also I've never gotten along super well with large book buddy reading groups like Goodreads groups and stuff. I find that the conversation just works better when I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with somebody else. So yeah, I realize as I'm saying this that a lot of it comes down to how comfortable I am with the other people, how well I know them. Like if I'm getting to know somebody, I want it to be a very, very small group. And But if I know everybody, then it's fine if there are a lot of people, which tells you a lot about my socially anxious brain. Duration. Are shorter or longer works better for buddy reads? I don't really have a strong opinion on this. I haven't found that it matters very much how long the thing is that I'm reading with somebody else. To me, what seems to matter more is um, how long you want to take to read it. Like, are there external constraints that say you need to read the thing within two weeks before you both lose your library books? Or do you just want to read the really long thing over however long it takes, that sort of thing? Some people are open-ended. Some people ha like to have that reading structure. and We're going to read X number of pages pages per day. I find that tends to be what people want to set up more than how long the thing actually is. That being said, um, when it comes to like book clubs and larger groups and stuff, I think that choosing super, super long books sometimes hasn't been the way to go because there is more of that timetable. Like you have to read something within a certain amount of time. Um, but I don't do a lot of those. Community. There are many types of readers share a meeting of minds. I've had almost universally good experience with buddy reads, probably because I'm drawn to people who I have a lot of interests with and we're like interested in the same books and the same genres. So that goes a long way in helping with things. But there are two buddy reads I've had that have always stuck with me because they were just like amazing experiences where the people were great and the book was great and the conversation was wonderful. The first one is Buddy Reading The People in the Trees by Hania Yanigahara with Otavio from the Galilean Library. This was years ago. I think it was one of the earlier Buddy Reads I ever did and he is no longer on booktube as far as I'm aware but it was fantastic. <laughs> it was a wonderful conversation. Um, the second is Buddy Reading Foreigner by CJ Cherry with Kazan from Always Doing. Um, it was the first time we had ever buddy read anything together and I don't think we knew each other very well at that time but it just like right away I loved talking to Kazan. I love what we were reading. I had so many thoughts and we had a really good conversation and it was like a sign of things to come because now we're on book 12 of that series. Perspectives. There are many types of readers share a difference in perspective. I'm a little bit blank on this one. I'm not exactly sure what it 
means, I guess. I have done some buddy reads with people where we have ultimately kind of disagreed on how much we liked or enjoyed the thing, um, but nothing like drastically different. I think most of the more unusual reading experiences I have with other people are probably with like people like Kazen and Shannon from That So Po because they are interested in topics and in reading books and stuff that I haven't read and they often bring that experience into our conversations and that is always very interesting to me and, and challenging to me. Question number six is about challenges. Share a private or public challenge to read out of your comfort zone. I don't think that buddy reads necessarily push me outside of my comfort zone with, with books at least. That's, that's because often buddy reads come about when I'm talking to somebody and we realize we both want to read the same thing so like we're both very enthusiastic about about it. It's, it's within our wheelhouse I guess. Um, but I will say that within like um, a slightly larger group or you're picking a group read, um, I tend to be like really up for the challenge of just reading whatever. Like I'm very flexible. Within that smaller private group, I'm like, yeah, let's, this is a safe environment to just try something completely new and discuss it. Um, that I probably wouldn't be as comfortable with if it was like a huge more public experience. So yeah, it just depends. Events. What is your favorite reading event and why? I guess this probably means like readathons and that shared experience of, of maybe reading at the same time or reading the same book during a readathon. And I almost never um, discuss things with other people during readathons. I don't know why. My favorite reading event is probably Dewey's 24 hour readathon. It's one of like the original readathons and I think most of it is run on Twitter, uh, but I like that it's so consistent and the format of it is so simple and has never really changed. <laughs> I like consistency. Um, but yeah, I don't actually like really um, publicly participate in that one a lot of the time. Mostly I'm like unofficially participating in it on a Saturday privately, yeah. Question number eight is can't stop. A booktuber you have buddy read the most with. This is definitely a tie between Joe from Final Blow Joe and Kazan from Always Doing. Joe and I have been buddy reading together for years now. I want to say probably like five, maybe six years. Um, we've read a bunch of Sherry S. Tepper. I have forgotten how many of her books we have buddy read together and also like various titles from the SF Masterworks and Fantasy Masterworks lines and stuff. It's kind of like our, our go-to books to read together. Um, and then Cousin and I have, uh, we're currently working on our 12th buddy read because we are working through the Foreigner series and that has been great. One of the really wonderful things about buddy reading like the same author's books or an entire series with someone is that they're like they're like your built-in partner for discussing those things. You can have all the spoilery conversations. You both have like this in-depth experience with the work and you can compare an author's multiple books and get a sense for their style and have a discussion about that. And then with like long-running series, it's so wonderful when you're reading with someone and you both like catch the references to things like six books ago and you can just like squee about it. <laughs> Question number nine is won't stop a booktuber you haven't but want to buddy read with. Two come to mind. The first is Kelsey from the Fancy Hat Lady Reads. I think we actually did a group read together some years ago. I think it was one of Ruth Goodman's books, How to Be a Victorian, but we've never done a one-on-one -on -one buddy read together and I would love to because she is a wonderful human being and I would love to read something with her. Um, the other is Libby Stevenson. I don't even know if she does buddy reads with other people, but I, I really like Libby's taste in books. She reads really differently from me, but we have a little bit of overlap and I think that it would be like really fantastic to read something with her, but I would also be very intimidated because I think she is like super smart and way better at literary criticism than I am. <laughs> but it would be fun. And the last question is to tag your buddies. And I am actually going to tag somebody to do this. I'm going to try to remember everybody I have done a buddy read with that is still on booktube or still making videos or whatever. So I'm going to tag Paul, uh, Paul Weymouth, formerly A Common Touch of Fantasy, Shannon from um, That's So Poe. Kazan has already done this, otherwise I would tag you, Kazan, but I think I learned about this tag from you. Um, Joe from Final Blow Joe, Maya from 
Meyer Reads, Andrea from Infinite Text, Brock from Let's Read, Rhea from The Book Finch, and Rachel from The Shades of Orange. So that is it for the buddy read tag. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about buddy reading. Have you done it or not? Do you want to? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll be back to talk to you again soon. And until then, bye.